Hello, Venti havers! Whether you just pulled your boy Venti, or dust off that coffee and take it for a swig, or were building pity after you got Rizzly, I got you covered. Venti gets a lot of hate because people feel he got power crept and is an irrelevant unit now, but this is far from true. He is said to be a worse Kazaha, but Kazaha and Venti do completely separate but similar things. I'll always stand by my statement. If Venti can suck it, he will truly suck it. Real good. So Venti is completely underrated in what he's capable of doing, and that's because of one thing. If it's too big to be sucked, he can't suck it. Simple as that. You can, however, aim his burst. Very slightly. This is mostly impractical, but you can still utilize it against bosses that don't move as much. Besides that, the advantages of his kit is that he regenerates energy for himself and whatever element he swirls. And of course, if you're caught in his black hole, he attributes significant damage to your team rotation. While he has become a more niche unit, if you ever find yourself struggling against Floor 11's defense gimmick, he's got you covered. His build is really versatile as well. You can build him with EM or attack and what damage crit. EM does tend to be a bit better, especially when there's more enemies because swirls go burr. Here's a few things to know about Venti before we get to some teams where he excels in. At level 90, he will have maximum suction power. It also scales relative to what the enemy's level are. He'll have a much better time sucking up enemies in the overworld versus floor 12 in the abyss. Another fact about Venti, while he can't suck larger enemies, that isn't exactly true for things that get frozen. He won't be able to suck them up rapidly like with smaller enemies, but if they are frozen, they will still be sucked closer to the black hole. Now, let's explore some team options for him. His most relevant team is probably the Faded Morgana team. This team consists of a Cryo unit, Mona, Venti, and Diona. Why it's called Morgana, I forgot. But, the main Cryo unit to pilot these teams is going to be Ayaka, Ganyu, and now, Grizzly. This team is great because of one thing. Mona's Burst. The way Mona's Burst works is, until the Omen Bubble is popped, you'll have a massive 60% plus damage boost on everything that hits the enemy, besides transformative reactions of course. This will last 5 seconds, which is short, however, in reality, it will last until the enemy is staggered, and the time after it of course. But the catch here is, when you're frozen, you can't be staggered. Because of this, you're able to extend that 60% damage buff to last around 6 to 12 seconds instead. This will greatly boost Freeze Team's damage, and if you add in Shenha with Ayaka, you can dish out massive damage in a short window. That is one of his more well-known teams. Now, let's explore other teams, and that involves Dendro. He can function as an animal unit in aggravate and hyperload teams, especially if the enemy is suckable. With Nahida, Raiden, Yai, and Fischl, all being able to hit things that are sucked into his burst, it's a pretty nice combo. If you use Nahida, however, you will want Overwhelming Electro to override his Dendro application, because with Nahida, it's kind of hard to swirl Electro, so be careful with that. And one of his lesser known teams, the Animo Burning Team. It's called Airfire, but honestly, I think the person who makes these team names just loves to eat. No offense to them. This team works with Nahida, a Pyro unit, Kazaha, and Venti. You will be able to get maximum burn procs because all of them build EM. In addition, with how much suction this team is capable of, the enemies will be in close proximity at all times, making the burning burn even harder. Because it has like scaling when they're closer to each other, so the closer they are, the more enemies closer, the burning is shared, and they take massive damage. The bad part about this team is, it's pretty bad against single target enemies and bosses, however, against the Thunder Kirin, I mean Unicorn, it worked pretty damn good. And on top of that, the AoE is pretty damn powerful. Actually, for the first half of the Abyss, I had no issues with this team. I was able to clear it pretty easily with Dia tanking most of the burn damage that gets on her and then healing up. The pyro unit you want to use for this is either Dia, Bennett, or Toma. But keep in mind that if you do get too close to the enemies, you will burn and you will die very fast.
Be it until my help alleviate that, and when I do use either of them, I really don't die. But it is a fun way to play because you never know if the enemy will kill you or you'll kill yourself. In the future, if we ever do get a burn related unit, the team will be much better. But that's probably unlikely. It seems like they just don't want burn to be that great a reaction. So, those are Venti's most popular teams, but he can also fit into many other teams as long as you can suck off the enemies. Sadly, they have been making more things Venti resistant, but he's still a good unit that brings a lot of either raw animal damage or pure EM scaling. Area of effect is his best field, and as the animal archon, that's to be expected. So any team that leaves a lot of AoE, he can be slotted into. Despite his early presence being extremely relevant, he has fallen from his grace, but he is still the king of AoE. As long as Hoyo allows it, of course. Only about 1% of you guys are subscribed. That's kinda crazy, don't you think? Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy watching my content anyways. It's a win-win for the both of us. I appreciate all of the support on my latest videos. Thank you so much for all of the support and comments and likes. Until next time, Enigma out.